Hey, hey, let me show you how I'm calibrating the docking procedure for uh, the tow heads. So, here we are sitting idle. Let's home it. Okay. And like I have a switch on the Y axis and it's sensorless on X right now. Okay. And, and yeah, then I have quite a few macros and there you are. Yeah, so we have a tool alignment macros. So let's start with this tool align start. And go. So what happens is that the tool head goes up and it kind of stays 100 millimeters out from the where it thinks is the docking position. So now we go and move in like in small increments and just check that we're aligned and this is already aligned so I can kind of wing it but yeah you want to do it carefully and check and the final location should be right touching the dock like this and I made some small the 3d print has some small uh, markers where it should align with this angle, with the like angled corners of the dock, and uh, yeah, and also you want to look for the screw heads going nicely into the. Let me move it out a bit. Ah, it's really hard to see. So there's the uh, screw hand is. Yeah, it's it's there. And yeah, you want it to be roughly in the center of the hole. And same for the other one. But yeah, that, that's really difficult to see. So it's just easier to align based on the markings. And as for why, uh, you just want to go one step at a time. And then yeah, there's just, you can kind of move the dock around, see, okay, there's still some flex. And just one millimeter at a time. And once it's too much, then it will kind of jam into that, then you want to back off. Okay, now it's kind of roughly where I want it to be. Okay, here comes the fun part now. So we have another macro. Uh, where you are. So tool align test. And what it does, it takes the current position as the docking position and just runs the docking procedure. And yeah, it, and it does it really slow. And kind of undocks and then no docks and then undocks again. And so that click there is just because it's a tight fit. Okay, let me do once again and just looking bottom up. Okay, here we go. So that's just kind of going out to the docking area and then back in. As it goes out and then picks it up again. And yeah, I have a final macro which is a line done, which just kind of moves out back from here. Like ideally, it should save the changes, but that's not implemented yet. So, uh, so we can just go out. And if you want to align another one, you can just grab this guy, put it in the dock, grab another guy, put it on the shuttle, and then just hit uh, start, and it will, it will detect which tool head it is, and go roughly where its current configured position is, and it will stay 100 millimeters out, so you don't accidentally jam it into the dock. And yeah, then we can go in. And yeah, this is also spot on, so don't need to align it. And yeah, so this is a nice quality of life improvement, getting things aligned.
and yeah for this you will need uh, changes from the tab tool changer repo because it, it has a support for dynamically changing the dock position and also the macros are in the tab changer repo so yeah cheers and happy printing